Hello, and welcome to another day of Living with Spina Bifida. Today is Meals Monday, and I actually have for you today a blue apron menu. Not a sponsor, that would be kind of nice, because I'm a fan of food, and I like getting food delivered directly to the door, and it's all ready for you. You just read the instructions, get it ready, and cook it. These recipes have almost everything for you right in a package delivered to your door. And a lot of times it's a good way to obviously eat healthier but eat differently. I myself like to try new things. I know the boys in my house aren't really fond of trying new and different scary things but I on the other hand do like trying other things. So, though I am not a master chef, I do like food. So, we are going to be making today avocado tempura tortas with spicy turnip and cabbage carrot slaw. Now, one of the knickknacks in this recipe is a chipotle pepper in adobe sauce. And me personally, sometimes ketchup is spicy to me. I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to spices. So, obviously, my turnip and cabbage carrot slaw will not be spicy. A little side note, going back if you will, when you order Blue Apron, still not a sponsor, you can customize your orders to be either three or I think four meals delivered to your door every week. And obviously if you have dietary needs or allergies, you can put that in your order and let them know if you have any certain allergies or if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, gluten free, etc, etc. And then you open up this uh, bubble wrap slash insulated bag that will keep the cold the cold in. So if you get your delivery while you're at work, it should it will stay cool still while it waits for you to pick it up. You're not home, and you have all your meals, all your food needs in this bag for your different recipe. And I got a little surprise in my package. Well, it was a surprise because I had no idea. And I guess I was thinking knickknacks were just extra stuff that you needed. Because I know at least some of these food delivery things have extra ingredients that they don't include, like flour and you know, basic salts and peppers and all that stuff. But now that I'm thinking of it, knickknacks probably means something that's completely optional. Because cause like I said, chipotle pepper and adobo sauce probably will not go too well for me in the spice area. But it is in there. It's just extra stuff. And some of the recipes do have meat involved. So we have these ice packs and and you can see maybe sandwiched in between two ice packs is the meat so it stays extra cool and there I got this I got this package yesterday and I just put it in the fridge and I didn't open it at all and the ice packs are still frozen so they stay pretty good Still not a sponsor, wouldn't mind a sponsor, but <laughs> it's just a fun little thing to try. Preparing the ingredients. We have to start with washing and drying the fresh produce, and then we have to cut these rolls in half. And would you look at that, I have magically cut these cut those rolls in half. Wow. It's like I was prepared or something. Next, I will be coring the cabbage. Then I will be thinly slicing the leaves so as that can be part of Law. 
And then I will put that in a bowl for later so I can make it at a slop. Next, I have to peel half and thinly slice these little dudes, which are apparently carrots. They're just little. I'd never heard of an Atlas carrot before. Any more carrot? This smells healthy. Now I need to finally, not finally, finally chop up the cilantro. So I got a lime. Take this here lime. I got to remove the rind of the lime, avoiding the white piss. So I'm zesting this here lime. So everything is nice and zesty. Okay, so I got half of the cilantro in here and now I've got some little limey zestness happening quite loudly. So now I got these pea zested peeled limes cut into quarters. Now I gotta peel the and cut into half inch wide sticks. And I also need to squeeze three of the four lime wedges, squeeze the juice into my slaw. going to peel the turn up. Hey, Mason. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cutting up a turnip.
matter with you? Thinly slice the avocado. Okay, so we've got cabbage, carrots, and cilantro already in there. Now we have Mexican crema. We gotta slop that in there. Oh, and the lime zest. Can't forget the zesty. Olive oil. We got to drizzle it with oil. I have canola. Drizzle. And season with salt. And I'll put that in the fridge to marinate. Stir it occasionally for at least 10 minutes. Next, we are going to make or add the tempura mix in a fourth a cup of water. Stir it until it's smooth. And a season with salt and or pepper. Next, we're going to heat up this pan so then we can cook the turnip and the avocado that I am going to mix up with the tempura mix. So it's like a batter and then it's going to be coated nice. When we cook it, it'll be like breaded. And you cook those, and you cook that for two to four minutes or until it's soft and fragrant. I don't know what fragrant they're talking about because it already has a scent. Okay. And we're going to squeeze the last of that lemon wedge in to here.
the remaining cilantro like I almost did. Dang it. Okay. There you have it. Lunch.